Well, hello there, Leo. It looks like you have made your intentions known only to yourself that life is going to be a certain way from here forward. But then this person walks through the door. <laughs> Let's dig in to see where this goes. Hello, everyone. Welcome in. This is a Leo Tarot reading. It is a general reading, usually between two energies. Let's dig in to see what sort of theme we have for you today. If you are interested in the extended to this video or in personal readings, there's links to both in the description box below. Let's dig in to see what we got for you. Okay. This just came out for Cancer. Nebula Warrior. Number 17 reduced to an 8. This is my Grey Jedi card. It's that person who has figured out after going through a lot of dark stuff in life has learned to use the darkness constructively. Okay. Play your hand. Have you been playing your cards close to your chest? Have you been waiting to let life tell you how to proceed? There's something here where you must ask for what it is that you want. Instead of just expecting or hoping. There's a big ask there. This one? Okay. We'll see if we see it. If it comes up. Something to ask for after going through so much. Show me what's going on with Leo, please. Tell me what's going on with you, please. Boundaries, boundaries, boundaries. Look at you. Really protecting your energy. Virgo energy there underneath. Really protecting your energy. Wow. Okay. Because you learned. Makes sense. King of Cups, Scorpio energy, King of Wands, Leo energy, Hierophant card of Taurus, Nine of Wands. I'm glad that you are showing up as you and your side of things. Empress card of Taurus and Libra, Nine of Pentacles, Ten of Pentacles. Oh, this is funny. Oh, this is funny. This could be one of two things, and I'm going to say both of them. Okay. You, them, situation. You've been through so much, okay? This is someone who has resolved themselves to basically saying, fuck relationships. People have done nothing but screw me over. I am exhausted. They have depleted me. I'm just going to be freaking single forever. Just screw everyone else. But here you are falling for an empress. And not just any empress, but one that really has some strong Taurus in her chart. But... There's Libra there too, but someone who really has her shit together. It's like you can't not look in their direction because they're just like superstar, a superstar of a human, not necessarily a celebrity, but just a superstar of a human. It's like you can't, you can't not look at them. You can't not want to be around them. You just, you just can't. You can't not fall in love with them. Look at you. <laughs> No, I don't want anything to do with anybody. Screw this, blah, blah, blah. There you are. Abracadabra, Leo. <laughs> Show me the king of cups, please. <laughs> the details of the situation. Okay. Nine of coins. Three of wands. Seven of swords. Oh, oh, you think she, you think she's real hot and you're keeping that to yourself. That's probably a good idea considering you're just... You're just supposedly set on remaining in your solo energy which i have nothing against being single has been awesome for me personally but you're you're fighting you're fighting the magnetic pole good luck with that sir <laughs> it takes a while for you to really fall okay it does take a while but it starts with she's really beautiful or she's really hot attractive whatever it is Okay. 
And then that just becomes more and more and more real, even though you keep it to yourself for so long. And then, then there's the real offer, the ace of coins. How does that come in? How does that ace of coins come in? Oh, interesting. Aquarius energy. So if you if you two have a similar similar community, circle of friends, coworkers, whatever it is. Okay. We have um Aquarius Pisces energy here. It's almost like you overhear her say something to the group about something she would like. If she would like a deep connection that gives. Okay. Perhaps she's used to someone just taking. Yeah, the, the wish the wish come true, for sure. It's like you overhear her say it to someone else. And you're like, I'm in. And that like changes your decision in a moment. Nah, forget people. They've done nothing but hurt me and they've been shitty and, da -da 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 and I'm tired of this. And never again. And then she walks in and tells a coworker at the coffee machine as she's getting a refill. Yeah, you know, I'm really starting to look for next boyfriend, whatever. And you're like, sign me up. <laughs> <laughs> if I remember it for the title of your video, that's what I'm going to make it. Show me the king of wands for Leo, please. Knight of swords. Queen of Cups, Nine of Cups, Queen of Coins. Ooh. Your heart doesn't have a chance, my friend. <laughs> because it's slow, 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 slow. She's hot. Slow, slow, slow. And then you hear, well, I, but, you know, I think I'm going to be shopping for my next relationship. Then it takes off. And you, you fall all the way in love with this feminine. She's the dream partner. Okay. All of a sudden you're you go from cranky and ornery and never again to oh my god, yes, please. <laughs> Humans are so funny. Show me the nine of wands. <laughs> Show me the nine of wands, please. Okay. Eight of wands, page of cups, two of coins, king of swords, that's Aquarian energy. Trying to be critical of it. Okay, but you can't because you're falling, right? The more you talk to her, the more you dig her. It just, it just snowballs. It really does. Show me Mr. Single over here for the Nine of Pentacles who swears up and down. I'm staying single. I'm staying single. Three of Cups, Death, Scorpio Energy. Two of Swords, Nine of Swords. There's something in this conversation that you overhear that makes you understand who else in the group is or isn't your friend. Okay. Or does or doesn't have your best interest at heart. It looks like doesn't for someone. Um, so, and it's not that she participates in that negativity. It's when she's asked a question, she just answers. Right. She just answers. This is what I'm looking for. Everybody else can be cackling about anything else. Okay. Show me the Hierophant for her, please. That's Death Card of Scorpio, in case I didn't say. Show me the Hierophant for her, please. Nine of Swords, King of Cups. Oh, there's lovers right underneath. Wow. So she really is looking for love. Gemini Scorpio energy. Um, she could have some trouble sleeping. Acts very composed in front of others. Um, it's almost like she just needs her person to sleep next to, to fall asleep next to. Okay. She's only looking out for that one thing. She's, she's already got everything else. She's got her own ten of coins. She's empress. She already got everything else. She's just looking for that one, that one thing. That's it. To complete the puzzle. Show me the Empress, please. Queen of Pentacles. Queen of Pentacles. Oh, both those? Okay. 
yeah, she just focused on who else gave serial entrepreneur vibes this week? Was it the Aries or the Taurus reading? Um, because this person has not shown up for her, she just looks, it's almost like she looks at her list of things that she's always wanted to do and she just keeps crossing things off. Okay, it's like, never went skydiving, never went to this restaurant I've always wanted. It's like, she doesn't stop experiencing life to wait for someone to experience those with because time is not guaranteed. Life is short as it is. She just keeps going. She just keeps going. She keeps producing. She keeps building. Show me the 10 of coins, please. Six of swords, three of cups, strength, card of Leo. Got it. Okay. There's, so whoever this overlapping community is, whoever said something negative or I'm hearing even just unwise, um, she just kind of left that information at the dock and set sail in the direction that she wanted. Leo energy there with a the strength card. Because at the end of the day, she knows what she, an empress knows what she really wants. No one else's advice is going to deter her especially if they aren't living the life she wants. See what I'm saying? So, <laughs> okay. How does Leo make this pinnacle happen? You're telling me you don't, you know, come on. You're saying that's the truth. So you're keeping it to yourself. Thinking, thinking. King of Swords, Queen of Swords, back to back. You'll let more time pass. Sag, Aquarius energy. Show me that eight of wands. It's like, wait, 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 run. <laughs> okay. There's, when there's another energy, another person that starts giving to her, then you start moving for us energy again. That's an, that's an interesting strategy. <laughs> that's an interesting strategy. So right when you may lose her. Okay. Right when you may lose her. It seems like a lineup is starting. To try to get her attention. You might want to hustle. I'm just throwing it out there. You might want to hustle. Okay. I'm going to head over the extended and get more into her. You are so funny. I'm going to see what's going on with her in her current energy, near future, and the final outcome of the connection between you two in this lifetime. So if you are interested in any of that information, along with messages from Spirit about the connection at this point in time, messages between you, as well as timing, Feel free to follow me by clicking the link in the description box below. And I'll see you guys over there. Bye. Ooh.